is Brenda the Nubi Crochet and this is my cave. I was just looking down because I heard some footsteps running this way and of course my dog knows where I'm when I'm recording and just bolted over here just to stand there and look at me. So I'm just coming on once again. It's uh, Saturday morning. It is a cool morning here in Central Florida. I took a run to Ollie's guys to check out what uh, what kind of yarn they had and I was quite disappointed but enough of that for now are you new to this channel hi my name is Brenda welcome to my cave if you're new go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell you'll have a blast it's really laid back it's fun it's um, I'm starting to get back into it I took a little bit of a hiatus as I went back to work full-time but now I'm coming back little by little and I wanted to uh, reconnect with my not only my subscribers but any new viewers so go ahead and subscribe welcome once again so yeah I went to Ollie's and I'm gonna try to um, upload as a little clip it's gonna be soundless only because um, the music was quite quite loud but I was highly disappointed because they only had uh, Bernat Premium, which actually I know many of you like, and it's actually very nice yarn, but it's not what I normally like. I was looking for the Karen Cakes and hoping that they had um, Karen Cotton Cakes or anything cotton related. And you'll see, the only really cotton thing that I found was, um, <clears throat> what is it called? Um, it's a wrap. In a, in a cute color but not anything that I really needed or wanted so I left it behind but I did buy some other things and I did find something that I think you'll be quite interested in let me show you really quick Oy. look at this book that I found and look at the price $2.99 it is called bold baby crochet 30 modern and colorful projects for baby Look at the pictures, how beautiful. And look at the book, how thick it is. It's quite thick. I haven't looked through it yet. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. It's got some really cute projects. Look at this. I'm definitely making that for my daughter, who's having a baby uh, December 7th. I love that. Anyway, so it's got a lot of really cute projects. This little... Pillow Buddy, look at this bottle koozie. I, my nowadays, we don't even use that kind of bottles anymore, but super cute. Look at this beautiful blanket. Um, it's got a lot of super, super cute projects, and there's a couple here that I intend to make. One of them this beanie with this um a uh, hand um one of those little uh what do you call them um it's called what is it called you know so the babies will scratch their faces with their a hand and a hand mitt or something i'm not sure exactly what it's called but um yeah I like it I like it and of course I picked up a few books because I figured somebody else may benefit look how cute these are adorable so if you have an Ollie's near you well mine definitely was a bit of a letdown when it comes to the yarn but I was happy to find this book look at these little light bulbs everything is really um, bright and very cute even little little hoodies and pants shirts mittens or mitts well diaper covers which we've most of us have probably done little beach beach hat or sun hat super cute super cute cardies yeah, it's got a lot of really cute things. So I'm really pleased. For $2.99, guys, you can't go wrong. 
cannot go wrong. So, let me show you something. Look who's here. Loretta's wearing my cardi. I just have to weave in the ends. I already made my buttonholes. Yes, buttonholes look quite big, but the reason they look quite big is because the buttons I put are quite large. So if you haven't seen my, my cream color one, the buttons are really big. So that's the reason why. And once I weave in my ends, put in my buttons, and I always launder everything before I wear it. So uh, I launder it. It's, I expect it to shrink a little bit. It is a little bit big on me right now. And maybe because of the yarn that I used, it was different from the first one, even though I followed the exact, exact, exact same pattern. But it's slightly bigger. But I'm sure that once I launder it, it's going to go and shrink a bit. So I'm fine with that. What do you guys think? Yeah, my 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 model is much thinner than I am. Plus, I didn't block it, and I normally don't block it. I let my body I let my body block it once I wear it. <laughs> but it's a long sleeve. So you gotta weave in here, weave in here. The others I did try to weave in as much as I could, going as I went went through it but there were some areas that I definitely could not weave in and then weave in this side here I think that's it yeah the other one I, I weaved in as I was working through it so guys what do you think so now I'm wondering what color buttons I should do now you for those of you who are new to my channel I make the buttons as well I make them out of polymer clay the first one that I made was cream with a little bit of glittery gray um, a tan and the background was like an eggshell and I think this one I'm going to do black with other colors like gray and white instead of being the white base like on the other Cardi I think this one's going to be a black base and then incorporate the other colors like white, gray, maybe um, some blue or some um turquoise or some aqua just a little bit of a little bit of color aside from grays blacks whites and creams i don't know tell me what you think but i'm very pleased with it like i said it, the model is slightly thinner than i am just slightly <laughs> so she wears it as, she wears it as well as she can but I'm very pleased once again with my Cardi. If you guys are wondering which Cardi it is and where you can get that pattern, I will show you that it is the Peekaboo uh, Crop Cardi from MJ's Off The Hook. I'm going to link it down below again. She does have a free tutorial on YouTube where you can um, follow along. However, it's in a size, I always forget if it's medium or small but it's not um, on my size. So I purchased the pattern and then wherever I got stuck originally, I will go back to the video and find out what she meant and then I will continue on. And so the pattern goes all the way from extra small to 5X. So anybody and everybody can benefit from this pattern. And it's super, super, super cute. It's perfect for me. I live in Florida. It's very hot. Please excuse me. I have no makeup on. I woke up, brushed my teeth, pulled up my hair, got dressed, and took off to Ollie's because I wanted to be there first thing in the morning so I can get in and get out. Um, I'm be back home because I have a ton of things to do, including hang out with you all. So, um, what was I saying? I don't know. I already forgot. Anyways, um, yeah, so the card is done. I'll be trying to do the buttons tonight, and I'll give you guys, uh, I'll try to record a little bit of it. I'll try to do that. My setup is not the best, but I will try. And then, if you guys remember Gia from Yarn, Yarn, Nut Yarns, she's got a 15% clearance across the board on her website. Don't miss out on it, guys. She's about to sh close shop 
for the winter season so um she's putting everything on clearance super low prices so don't miss out i have been ordering stuff from her these last few months especially the cotton which i love for those of you who are new once again i love cotton it's usually all i use um mercerized cotton um pima cotton uh, Egyptian cotton, all kinds of cotton, even if it's cotton bamboo blend, I prefer to work with that because I do live in a warm climate. Um, but she was gracious enough to gift me because she knew I was have I'm having a baby, uh, grandbaby December seventh. Um, give me some of this beautiful. This is Puzzle Baby from Ice Yarn, and she sent me two skeins of this, and I am currently working. I'm making a blanket thank you Gia she said make a baby blanket for your grandbaby and that's exactly what I'm doing do, do. I started it was it last night or the night before I finished this and I picked this up I think it was last night no the night before and so um, I'm using the the waddle stitch and if you're not familiar with the waddle stitch I have a tutorial here in my channel Please feel free to follow it. I do a lot of baby sets. Baby sets meaning usually a blanket and a beanie, a blanket and a headband, a blanket and maybe little mittens or mitts. Mittens? Mitts? I don't know. Anyways, um, I usually try to do a little bit of a, a, a set. So a lot of the stitches that I post in my channel, that the tutorials that I do, are stitches that are baby blanket friendly and one of the ones that I found that I really have loved I learned to love and 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 I've been using a lot lately is the waddle stitch so I have the tutorial if you want to follow it check it out super easy let me see if I can I'm be careful with this coffee I don't want to on my way back from Ollie's I stopped at McDonald's and grabbed some coffee but I can come closer so you can see and it's a super, super simple stitch. Basically, is a single space double on the same chain, skip two, and single chain double on the same space, chain two, skip two, and so forth and so on. Very simple, very light. It's not a yarn eater, which is one of the things, especially here in Florida, I try to do a lot of um, uh, um, stitches that are very light. There's some really gorgeous stitches out there that I would love to do, but realistically here in Florida, I create a blanket with, with some of the stitches that are out there. It, you wouldn't, I would never be able to use it because it's just too warm. In fact, this that you see behind me, hmm, let me show you something. This is, this is gonna be like a catch, catch up with me again kind of video. Miss Jeannie from Butterfly Dreams Crochet used my stitch, the Brent stitch, recently to create a beanie. And she put out she put out a tutorial. I don't know if she did it for just her members or for the entire channel, but she put out a tutorial and it came out awesome. So this, my friends, is what the Brent stitch looks like. Let me Put it in a way where you guys can see the stitch this is the brand stitch my friends and i have a tutorial in my channel it's the moment you open my my youtube channel it's the tutorial that comes up this is the brand stitch look how beautiful it is this is using sugar wheel cotton and what's awesome about this stitch is, is that it has a clear front and a clear back and I'm going to show you what the back looks like. This is the back. It's flat. There, it's, you know, so if you're using the stitch for a garment, the back is flat and then the front is textured. I'll get myself together in just a minute. And the front is textured. And I love it. I know a lot of people out there love it. This was just a sample wrap that I made for myself. And I usually um, keep it in the back of my chair. I laundered it already. And I must say this 
Did it bleed? No, I don't think it did. It did. I'm not sure if it bled a little bit. I think it, the blue bled a little bit. This is the sugar wool cotton from Hobby Lobby. And I think the blue may have bled a little bit into the yellow. Let me see if you can see it. Around here. Maybe not too bad. You can see it, but it did. So I basically keep this in the back of my chair. And a lot of times people ask me, Brenda, what is that blanket back there? What stitch is that? And I clip it here so it doesn't fall off. Or it doesn't roll off as I as I sit and pull on it. It's my little crazy gadget. And so um, that's my brand stitch. My little brand stitch uh, wrap. Which I may be using really soon because it's getting chilly here in Central Florida again so so what else oh yesterday I was talking to my daughter and um, my, she had just picked up my grandson from daycare and she was asking me are you by any chance making any blankets baby blankets and I said well yeah I'm making one for your baby coming December 7th and she's like well can you make Lenny's my grandson Lenny a blanket and maybe put his name on it so that I can take it to the daycare because he only has one of the baby blankets that he used to have and it's getting a little small. And I said, sure. So he was a little bit in a little bit of a down mood. And it may be because his dad, um, I think it was because his dad has been in the police academy and was gone for a week. and. When he got home yesterday, and I think he was starting to really feel the effects of not having dad at home. So, um, to cheer him up, I tried to give him options of kind of yarn to what kind of yarn he wanted me to use, and this is what he picked Universal Cotton Supreme Waves and this beautiful blue green combination. What do you think? The color is called Equator. And I got four of these, and I guess I'll use the four to make his blanket. I should have enough. If not, I do have some sugar wool cotton, which is almost identical in solid colors that I can probably blend in and make it bigger if I need if I need it more yarn. So this is what my grandson picked for me to do his blanket. And uh, finally, an update on the raffle. I must say that I've only received one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six individuals have purchased tickets for the raffle. Um, I'm a little bummed out. I was hoping it would it would pick a little bit more steam. I don't want to bombard you guys with talking about the raffle in every video, but this is all being done for a good cause. So if you find it in your heart to even just buy one ticket at five dollars. Um, all the money raised is going to go to um, supporting um, that partnership that I have. And if it means, you know, if it means that I have to partner on my own, then I will do that. I have no issues in, in doing that. I just wanted to get the, the Yarny community and my YouTube family community to uh, kind of partake in this and, and be part of it. So, but no worries. The raffle will go on regardless. If there's just the six individuals who purchase tickets, they'll just have better chances of winning things or pretty certain they're going to win something. <laughs> and um, and then, you know, I'll, next time around, I'll do something a little bit different. But some of the prices that are up for grab are five Crochet Society brand new boxes have never been ordered. We have uh, hook caddies that also... Um, or handmade by my husband that will be uh, raffled off. I have some uh, mystery yarn packs with goodies in addition to yarn. There's also goodies in there. And um, who knows, maybe some of those um, crochet baby books that I bought, because I bought a total of three, maybe two of those will go into some of those uh, mystery yarn packs. I, you guys know me. When I do giveaways, when I do gifts, I usually just tell you the main gifts, but once you receive it, there's a whole bunch of other goodies included 
in the gift so it's just my way of giving you an additional surprise you know sometimes you see what the possibility may be but to get a little bit extra is kind of like a little <gasps> kind of moment so but if you find it in your heart you'd like to partake in this raffle I'm gonna tag the video below and check it out all you have to do is through PayPal just send uh, send me the funds either um, one ticket for five dollars you can buy two tickets three tickets but if you buy five tickets they're only twenty dollars so you save five dollars to buy five tickets if you're if you're capable I mean if you're able to do that I know that the holiday seasons are coming and if you win something it may be a gift that you can give to somebody else it may be your own Christmas gift that you receive because I will try to ship them all out the week before Christmas so hopefully by Christmas you would be receiving your package what else is going on? And finally, at work, we're rolling out a new time capturing system for the associates. It's very associate involved. So the rollout, it wasn't the, it was a rollout per se, a webinar type thing I, I took on Friday. It's gonna be a lot of work, so my mind's a little bit, but I can do this. I can get my team, I can get my managers, I can get my associates all on board and have this done by December 25th, which is the go live date. Anyways, God is with me, God is guiding me, he'll fill me with patience, knowledge, and peace. And I will overcome, and all will be good. Mm. And that's it guys once again if you're new to my channel i hope you enjoy what you watch hit the subscribe bell no subscribe button notification bell hit the like share the video tell your friends about my channel and i come hang out with me some more i'm gonna try to see if i can do a live in the next few days i'm supposed to be off wednesday thursday friday on wednesday i'm gonna try to do a drop at the senior center then friday i may do a live or maybe excuse me wednesday i don't know i'm going to try to do a, a live either wednesday or friday so look out for that see what else mm. that's it guys that's all i have for you i hope you enjoyed this time with me um i hope that um you can check out my raffle and you can partake don't forget five dollars one ticket five tickets for twenty dollars and uh, all the proceeds are going to help me with my partnership with the council on aging for my county and donations that go to the seniors and um hey mister i bought my dog at ollie's a little chew uh it's kind of like raw hide, but it's made out of chicken. He's never had that kind of stuff before. I don't know if it's going to be good for him or not. But he doesn't know what to do with himself right now. He's trying to see where he could hide it, um, whether he should eat it, whether he should just ignore it. He doesn't know what to do. So it's going to be interesting to find out what happens with the Chewy and, and him. Anyways, guys, I'm really done now. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Hope that you're having a wonderful morning, noon, night, evening, regardless of where in the world that you are. From the Yarny Cave, peace, coffee in hand, stay cool, stay crocheting, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I need this hand to turn off. Bye.